If you've had your eyes open to Pokemon X and Y lately, you know for a fact that Deancey, who is an event Pokemon that's going to be released soon, is already obtained by a lot of people on YouTube. Latios and Latias, who haven't even been revealed officially to have a mega form, already have their mega stones floating around on the internet. And everyone's wondering how the hell is this happening. Even the elusive legendary Pokemon that haven't even been revealed, Volcanion and Hoopa, are in people's hands already. People got shiny forms of Xerneas and Yvatol, and everyone's wondering how the hell this is even possible. This is thanks to a device which is called the Action Replay Power Saves. And when you think of Action Replay, the first thing that you think of is hacking, manipulating the game's mechanics, but this device functions a little differently from previous Action Replays. It's basically a dongle that connects to your computer via USB, and you put your X and Y cart inside of the dongle, and this allows you to edit the save file in your Pokemon X and Y game, so it's not exactly hacking it, so to speak. Now due to this system, it only works with physical copies of Pokemon X and Y, so if you have yourself a downloaded version of it, you're, you're out of luck basically, because you're not going to be able to put it inside the dongle, and this doesn't connect to the 3DS in any way, so let's clear that misconception up right now, because a lot of people have been asking if this is something that plugs in sort of like a Game Shark. This has no contact with your 3DS console, you simply have a dongle on a USB, you plug it into your port on your computer, and then you have software which you can use to edit your save file in Pokemon X and Y. Now some of you may be wondering, editing save file, what exactly do you mean by that? Well, what the dongle allows is for you to take everything that you've done in Pokemon X and Y and either make a copy of it or to start up a new game while creating a backup of it. So if you, for example, wanted to start a new adventure on your Pokemon X and Y cart, you simply copy the save file that you already have on your cart and you'll be able to start up a new one and transfer that to the cart while your old one is backed up on your computer sounds pretty nifty because that's something that has never existed in a Pokemon game before and that's one main reason why you want to get this device. However, even though that is one main reason, the main draw for this device right now, if you are a Pokemon X and Y owner, is getting access to the unreleased things that Nintendo has not released. <laughs> Mainly Deancey, the Latios and Latiasite, and a lot of other things as well. You'll be able to max out every single item that you have in your bag and add on every single item that is in the game, which is why people have the Latios and Latias side already. Due to the nature of adding all these items and maxing out your money and battle points in the game, this can be referred to as a power save, which is why this action replay is known as the power save, because it doesn't hack the game in real time, but rather copies your save file and adds on things to make it powerful, so to speak. What the action replay power saves can do to your game is the following. You can obtain unreleased items and Pokemon. You can also turn any Pokemon that is in your game shiny, regardless of where it came from or how you raised it. What you cannot do is create Pokemon. You cannot modify IVs, stats, or natures of Pokemon that you currently have. You can't trade the unreleased things that you obtain with the power saves. And you cannot edit in-game mechanics. If you did have a Latio site and you wanted to trade a Pokemon holding that item to a friend, that's not going to happen because for some reason the game has a defense system where it will not allow things that are unreleased to go to another game. Now when you turn a Pokemon shiny with the power saves, you will be able to use that Pokemon normally and the game will not detect anything wrong with it because it actually does change the shiny value of the Pokemon itself in the correct manner. So you won't have hacks per se on your game. However, when it comes to the unreleased things such as Shiny, Zygarde, Yvatal, and Xerneas, you will not be able to trade these Pokemon whatsoever. So don't plan on giving a bunch of your friends Shiny, Zygarde's and whatever because you will not be able to do so. You will not be able to trade the Latios and Latiasite in the game. You will not be able to trade the Yancey or Volcanion or Hoopa in the game. So drop all those thoughts right now because as long as it's unreleased, Nintendo will not be making it available for people to trade around. And let me reinforce this once more. You cannot create Pokemon with this device currently. You cannot make new Pokemon in your box. You cannot modify anyone's stats. You can't have them all with 255 EVs in every single stat. You will not be able to edit your Pokemon whatsoever. So if you're getting this for Pokemon creation with X and Y, it's not happening. The way that the power saves is able to do all of this is that it actually connects to the action replay servers where a copy of your save is sent to them and encrypted or de-encrypted depending on what you're doing and sent back to you and this comes with the edits that you wanted the game to have and so every time that you want to edit your save file you will have to upload it to the action replay servers or rather do it through the software which you are directed to download when you purchase the device. I can't lie, when I learned about this detail I felt a little uncomfortable because say for instance that action replay servers go down 
the device will basically be a nice looking brick, so keep that in mind when purchasing this. However, I highly doubt that is possible at this point, considering that so many people are using this. In terms of the firmware that your 3DS has to be on in order to use this, at this moment you currently don't need to be on any certain firmware or you don't have to worry about updating your 3DS and getting locked out because this device cannot be patched. That is simply because it does not contact the 3DS in any way whatsoever and it only directly connects to the game card. Even if Pokemon X and Y were to get a patch itself, sort of like the patch that fixed the Lumino City glitch, you would not be able to patch out the power save simply because the patch is actually stored on the SD card which is inside of the 3DS. But with the dongle that comes with the power saves, you're, direct, you're directly connecting it to your computer. Therefore, there is really no way to patch it. So you can feel safe in knowing that your investment with this device is protected because it cannot be stopped, so to speak. <laughs> Which is kind of messed up, but I mean, hey, <laughs> that's what happened. <laughs> Nintendo DS games cannot be used with this thing. I don't know if it's a matter of them not wanting to have compatibility with it, but if you want to hack your DS games, there's so many other ways to do it, you don't need to rely on this one. This is somewhat of an intricate way to get into the 3DS games to an extent, and it's not even really hacking the game, it's just hacking your save. So, yeah, DS games are totally out. One big concern that I had before purchasing this device was the fact that there is a pro version which is coming out in the America very soon. I believe the date now is the 7th of March and GameStop is currently selling it on their website but of course it's not going to get to you until the 7th. Now my concern initially with this whole thing was what's the pro version? Like is the pro version worth waiting for? Will it have increased functionality? And the answer to that is no. It'll basically be a localized version of the action replay power saves because the like, action replay power save is actually not really available in America, so to speak. It's mainly a UK device, but if you do purchase it from Amazon, it'll work just fine as long as you download the software from where they direct you when you buy it. It doesn't come with the disc, so you don't have to install anything on your computer. It'll just lead you to where you can download the software. I've downloaded the software myself, and it doesn't allow you to use it unless you have the device itself with the code on the device. So you'll have to keep that in mind. You won't be able to utilize the software in any other way, but I was thinking with the pro version, maybe it'll be worth it waiting for that. But at this moment, right now, the regular version which is available does every single thing that you could possibly want it to do, at least in the ability of what the action replay power save can do. And as long as you don't have expectations out the window, like walking through walls or whatever, you'll be totally satisfied with the regular version. So I highly advise that you get that over the pro because the pro version, even though it is coming out on the 7th, the date has been pushed back multiple times. Being initially announced for release on the 20th of February, being pushed back to the 7th of March as it is. And I experienced the pain firsthand of waiting for that only to have the date pushed back again when the day comes that it should be released. So I broke down and bought the regular version and did my research. There's nothing that the pro really has over the regular. You'll be totally fine with either one because they both use the same servers for the same functions. So any updates that come to the pro version will be coming to the regular version so don't worry about any of that currently you can get this device on Amazon and it costs about $20 I got mine with shipping included for 25 this will basically do a lot for anybody who wants to get unlimited items or to get the unreleased things that Pokemon X and Y have overall if you are serious about Wi-Fi battling and you want to make things a little bit easier on yourself without totally cracking the game in half you can get this device and feel good knowing that you'll be able to never grind the battle maze on again because that is hell in a cell for me at least. I do hope this video answers some of you guys questions and if you have any other questions that you want to ask me go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to reply to as many as humanly possible although that is kind of difficult considering there are thousands of you watching this but regardless thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you in the next video and when I get my copy of the action replay power saves I'll do an unboxing and a full tour of the software and the way that the system works but I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.